Child, I really got to pay attention to what I be deleting to try to make space because I deleted a whole traffic and chat. I deleted the clips, so it's going to like look like this is a part two, like another video, because my outro to the video that I deleted was in the same outfit, in the same moment. I got to quit doing that shit. I be fucking up. I just be deleting shit. So there goes a whole traffic and chat. But nevertheless, I got another one. And it's this one. All right, we back <laughs> with another traffic and chat. <laughs> I know my life can get crazy. Just remain solid and know that I got it. Choose around the globe, we can fly. Plop it, change the time zone, switching up climate. When the time touch down in the trap, never mind the hate, no, can we pop? However, I'm rolling, I know that you rockin'. I pitch you with Tina, tell you go shop. She mowed the company and she'll look out. I really think that's how she got me. All the way she is, you rockin' with me. So, I can't work with this. It took me damn near three minutes to open up the Amazon thing. What'd I do with it? Did I leave it? Hold up. <laughs> Y'all. I think I left that Amazon thing on them people's. <laughs> on the damn uh, table thing. Oh, what did I do with it? I don't know what I'm. Okay, so what I do is usually if, uh, if it's a small, like a case or something. I'll take the Am I'll take it out the Amazon package and then put that shit in the trash so it don't be in my car. And I really legitimately think that my mind <laughs> put the Amazon thing right on them people table in rows. Damn. God damn, they put this motherfucker in a hell of a bag. They put more tape on it. And I'm mad because I have another Mickey Mouse case. And I don't know why I did that. I don't know how I ended up buying two. But this one is I like better than the other one. If you got a 14 plus, 12 Pro, 13 Pro, they all fit the same. Cause I be getting 12 Pro and 13 Pro cases. If you don't come on up out of here, see I can't function with these nails. Okay, so this one stick out too. I have to show y'all my other one, but. He 3D and his feet stick out right here, but my other one, the ears stick out. And I can't press the side button like that. And the crazy thing is, I just ordered a custom case. Did I order it for my... I definitely think I ordered it for my iPhone. I did. I ordered a custom case. It's just like this one. It's a, it got my me and my granny picture on the back with Victorian Publishing. So, yeah. But that one's going to take a while. Let me see what we're working with. Let me see. So, what I usually do is I keep the case for like a couple days. And if I don't like it, it's going back. So, I'll never get rid of this. Y'all yeah, never get rid of one. <laughs> Cause if I don't like it, it's going back. It's it's all right. It's real slippery though. See, that's the only thing I don't like about having a big phone is that it's yeah, it's slippery. It ain't got no grip to it. Yeah, damn man. What up? <laughs> I, my level of give a damn is real low. Um, come on, people. I got to go back home now. I may not be public too long. I'm hungry. I got to go warm up my Chick-fil-A suit. <sighs> Damn, that sun bright as hell. But, man, I almost forgot what I was talking I was going to say something. Oh. Well, I do have a topic, but I don't, I don't plan on recording when I leave later, sir. I be forgetting to put y'all on director's view so y'all can see the fuckery that be happening. Oh, I thought you said something. So y'all can see the fuckery that be happening. Like, people just be walking, then walking all slow. When somebody let me walk, but if I walk fast as hell, I be trying to get across that street. And these boots, they comfortable as hell, but they bulky, so they make me walk weird. <laughs> it look like I'm stomping when I walk, and I already look like that. My mama told me I walk like a horse. I don't know how I feel about that. 
but it looks like I'm stomping when I'm walking because like it's like they heavy so I got I gotta like really lift my feet up off the ground that shit crazy why the fuck do I choose traffic time to come get shit I'm glad Kirby don't ever have no traffic I'm ready to move in case y'all didn't know um I'm looking at places <laughs> so let's hope I get something cause I'm ready to go like I don't and the places I'm looking at is in the same area but it just it's better cause I can't, I can't, and I'm getting a two bedroom across his fingers, cause my luck with two bedrooms is not where I need it to be right now, but I need two bedrooms, bro, cause I got a whole office in, in the corner, y'all see my office space, I need to be able to have an office and recording space. Cause I am sick of recording the living room, the closet, the office corner. Like, unless it's couch conversations, no lord. I need a whole office. Like, I'm sick of it. I got three monitors. Like, come on, bruh. I need a two bedroom. That and then Bree be coming over randomly. Like, people might come to the house or something. I need to say it's going to be a bedroom office. That's what it's going to be. I'm going to give me an expensive-ass air mattress. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. But depending on who come, they can have, like, my mama was to spend a night, I wouldn't make her sleep on no air mattress. Like, when Natalie came, and I was like, man, my bed, my room, my house is so small, because I gave her my room, obviously, because that's what she's supposed to do. But a case like that, I was like, man, it'd be shut. nice to have a two bedroom so somebody can have their own damn space. You ride real close to me while you patting your head, little mama. Is that a way? Is that a white girl patting her head? Can't be. That can't. It can't be a white girl patting her head right now. I know she ain't doing the black girl weave pat. I know. <laughs> it's Black History Month. Y'all better quit playing with me. Look at my shirt. Y'all know I'm cutting up. Come on now. Y'all know I'm cutting up. But my topic is um, overly independent. So I gotta put this thing that I can't see shit. Um, overly independent. It's like dependency, having dependency issues or independent issues, I should say. And I don't know what made me think about this, but I just thought about it. Like, cause I, come on, come on, guys. Come on, God damn it. I'm trying not to yell, bro. <laughs> like, I'm trying not to yell. <sighs> bro, y'all be pissing me off. Like, I be trying to be cool on the road, but they just drive so crazy, bro. Like, God damn. Your little cousin, she all <laughs> pissing me off. The little bitty ass wife beat he had on and had a belly. I'm talking about like a belly. And then, especially when they got a belly and they ain't big everywhere else, and so it don't look right, it'd be like a legitimate bigger belly type shit. Nasty ass. But when I come back, because I am going to talk about this topic because it's, it's been on my mind for the longest, so I got to get it out it's gonna be dark so y'all might as well go ahead and get ready because i'm waiting till the sun go down and the traffic go down and go to the grocery store is what i'm gonna do okay i can't work with these nails jesus i want to get my nails done i'm gonna get my nails done next week COVID gonna have to go on somewhere but i will see y'all then i promise i'm gonna come back okay so it's definitely 9 48 i told y'all it was gonna be dark when i came back Girl, why I choose to go to the grocery store so late, I will never know. I think it's because I really don't like humans. Are 
you gotta put the car in reverse to back it up. I really don't like humans. <laughs> so I be trying to go where I know ain't nobody gonna be on in the store. And they close at 11. Say less. And especially because, you know, still a little seat. But I definitely feel much better. Um, probably going to retest myself in a couple of days on Sunday, probably. Um, but, yeah. So, I had said I wanted to talk about a topic. Hold on, y'all. Let me figure out what the fuck I am doing. Do I want to take her? I had said I was going to talk about a topic, and the topic is for me. <laughs> it's for somebody else who may do it, but I'm speaking on myself because I can't speak on everybody else. But we have this, baby, not that's a whole uh, homeless person walking up the street like that. We have this thing that's called overly independence. And yes, I made it up. I really don't know if that's a thing or not. But I have it. <laughs> I have this sense of very overly independence. Like, I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it's because I didn't have a father figure. I, I don't know if it's just because I ain't had a man that's going to actually, like, do shit. But I'm the type of motherfucker where... Um, volume warning. Somebody definitely just drove out in front of me and... We almost T-boned. So, I'm about to yell and have a whole heart attack. So, y'all might want to cut it down real quick. I got to do everything myself. Even in a relationship, I open my own door. I take out my own groceries. I change the light bulbs, the air filters. I put together all my furniture. Like that desk y'all seen. What the fuck is wrong with you, bruh? Are you serious right now? drop to my feet how would a t-bone that nigga he came smooth out the fucking driveway without even stopping yo thank god for good it breaks jesus and it was two people walking and they looked like oh shit god damn scared the fuck out of me shit i need a blunt after that Jesus. Y'all, they almost tried to take me out. Baby. Baby, listen here. So, you know what? Because what y'all got me is fucked up. <laughs> what y'all got me is fucked up. I, ooh, I wish I would have thought to put it on. And I almost put it on director's view when I first started, too. So, y'all could have. So, that shit could have been on fucking camera. Like, hell no, nah. I'm finna, no, directors, matter of fact, I, this motherfucker finna go on directors view every time I record, because people be driving stupid, and I don't have time for it, like, I'm getting all the footages, I'm getting all of the footages, because what you not finna do is play with me in such a way, and with these headlights, baby, you can see, shit, playing goddamn, but like I was saying, uh, now that God done saved my life, uh, God said, stop the car. <laughs> he said, hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. <laughs> That's what he did to my brakes. He was like, uh, he just put his hands up and just stopped it. Up. But, um, it's a such thing as overly independent because I am overly independent. Like, I literally, like that desk y'all see, all the furniture in my house, everything in my house I put together. I painted everything in my house as far as furniture goes. Like, everything in my house was a whole nother different color. The dining room table was brown. It's light gray. Dresser uh, slash TV stand in the living room was brown, and now it's dark gray. Um, the entertainment stand in my room was actually my grandparents. It was for Mill and June. And uh, I took it from my mama's house after she moved out of her house because she took it from them and I repainted it because it was like a light brown and then my grandpa like repainted it or yeah he, he kind of repainted it like a darker brown so when I got it I repainted it black because I wanted it to match everything 
So, and it's a video, matter of fact, it's from Vlogmas 2021 of me actually painting the dresser. Like, you could actually see me painting. And so, I've literally gotten so used to doing everything myself. And I have this mentality because I'm so guarded. And I try to do everything myself because I had this mentality of... It's nobody in this world that I ever want to feel like or even them say to me, you can't live life without me. You can't do nothing without me. I never, that, that should never come out of anybody's mouth, mom included, family included. Like, I, I will never give somebody that type of power. So, in my mind, it's like, I'll be joking about it when I say, uh, like, if I talk about Christian, I'll be like, you know, I don't know what I do without her. I can't live without her. She do everything, like, or whatever. Like, even other people, same thing with my best friends. Like, it's a joke. <laughs> it's legitimately a joke because the way my mind is set up, if I feel like you got too much control, I have to take it. And I found myself, like, I didn't notice I was doing it until last year. And I was like, bro, wait a minute. What? Because what is you doing? Look at these motherfuckers here. Look at Don't try to get over here. Please. You know what? Get over because the, the lane going to end. So go ahead and get over. Dumbass. But anyway, um, I found myself doing it last year. And I always had this superwoman mentality where I try to do everything. Save everybody. And I had to tell myself and keep reminding myself, bro, you are not God. You cannot save and help everybody. You cannot do everything. It took a couple of breakdowns for me to realize that, and I still struggle with it sometimes. But I didn't realize that I'd be doing it until last year, and I've been doing it my whole life. And I think it has a lot to do with my childhood. And again, I'm talking about me, but somebody could be relating themselves to this situation. Girl, she stole first before smoke shop. They both close at 11. That's fine. I'll do that. Let me get the groceries out the way. I should have got the smoke shop out the way. Um, let me cut this off. Damn, how long? Because I ain't got hurt. But I think it has a lot to do with my childhood because I started working at 13. I never depended on my mama like that. I didn't have a daddy. I was spoiled by Mill and June. I was spoiled by my grandparents and my godfather. They gave me everything that I asked for. And that's where my spoiled mentality come from. I literally have a bad habit because they would give me everything I asked for. So I have the bad habit of, like, even if my mama say no, and they used to make my mama so mad because it's like, I told her no, like, she couldn't do this or she can't have that. And they'd be like, so? <laughs> but what I said was, <laughs> so I have this mentality that, like, whatever I want is, I got to get it. Like, you gonna give it to me. Because that's just the way I was raised. I was raised super spoiled by them. And that's why I literally, like... I'm the most spoiled, independent person ever. It's ridiculous. It makes absolutely no sense. Because I cannot... I have a problem with letting my guard down. And we have to realize that it's possible to be independent and still depend on people. Like... Now, don't, again, I never want somebody to have so much control over my life where they feel like I can't live without them. Like, you can't do shit without me. This ain't gonna work without me. Like, hell no. Because uh, what you got me is fucked up. I bet you it will. I don't even want to hear that shit come out of somebody's mouth. Like, I don't even, and that's my biggest fear is for somebody to say that to me. I think I'm probably gonna lose my shit. Because it's a lot. Damn. Damn. Damn, my G. Y'all in a rush, ain't it? Where you going? I want to go where y'all going because y'all trying to get there. Is you finna turn? Because I'm finna turn. Is you finna turn? <laughs> but you're never supposed to give people that much power over your life anyway, even just in general. Come on, sir. Even just in general. Like, if somebody can shift your entire mood in your entire life they have way too much control over you and when I first went to therapy and she asked me why I was in therapy I was like because I feel like I'm losing control of my life 
And I had to realize, first of all, God is in control of your life, not you. But there's a certain aspect where we are in control of our own lives. Like, God is in charge of it all, but you still are the one that's living the life. You're still the one that's guiding the life, that's leading the... You're the one that's making decisions because God also gave us what's called free will. And... I have to have, I got control issues. I got control issues and I got independent issues because I, in my mind, I can do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Now I don't need no help. Now I don't need no help. Like that's how I am until I was like, you know, nah, I'm lying. Yeah, I do. Like you have to admit to yourself, Miranda, that you do need help. But I will literally limit the amount of duties because I had that problem with TTM when I first started. I did not want to delegate because I don't trust nobody. I got trust issues too. I ain't trust nobody with my baby, bro. Like, to this day, I don't trust nobody with my baby. (laughs) Like, I'm just going to be completely 100% transparent. If something happened to me, I believe that Christian, or well, I had a conversation with my mama. I believe that Christian and people close to me would keep TTM going just because they know how much it means to me. But it's going to take me a while to give up full control of my baby. It's like a child that you have a hard time with people babysitting. Like, you can't, I, I had trust issues, so I kept trying to do everything myself. Seven people on the team, and I'm doing everything by myself. And my therapist was like, you got to learn how to delegate. You can't do everything. And I'm like, man, I don't like that shit, but I right. So I started delegating a little bit. Didn't work out. So the team I got now is smaller. Christian, Sharice, Stephanie. I feel like I can trust them more so I can delegate to them more. Like I can actually give them stuff to do especially like Sharice can run that whole education program she runs the whole entire education program she been running this since 2016 when I tell y'all I can't tell y'all nothing about the education program unless it's financial I don't know (laughs) because she completely took over the program shaped it formed it and runs it that is one thing i don't have to worry about and that's the type of loyalty i have to see like that's what makes me like okay it's okay to give up stuff but some people say anything like with christian and more so like the gala or more so like my personal side like my peer that's why i call a pr superwoman i i trust her with that i trust her with events i trust her with a lot of things but even she's limited to certain stuff in my life. Like, I, I can't trust you with everything 100%. But that's the issue that I have. Like, not even 100%, more like 75. It depends on how I'm feeling. Because sometimes I get in my moods where I don't want nobody doing shit. <laughs> like, and it ain't them, it's me. It's like, no, I don't trust you, but it's not you, it's me. And I cannot trust you for a moment. So, and that just recently happened, like literally just recently happened. And I'll go deeper into it on Patreon because y'all know I don't YouTube, I'm, I'm limited on YouTube. But we have to let go of this notion of we can do everything ourselves. You can't do everything by yourself. You need somebody. You have to learn how to delegate your duties, especially if you're going to be an entrepreneur or run a nonprofit or whatever. <clears throat> you got to learn how to delegate your duties, but you have to have discernment on who you can trust. A good example is Natalie. Natalie don't trust nobody either, but I'm grateful that she trusts me enough to sell her shirts, make her website, be her moderator. Like she trusts me enough to do all that. And she don't even know me like that for real. She only been knowing me a few years. So you can't do everything by yourself. You have to be able to trust somebody and let somebody help you. Stop being overly independent. James will be like, you need something from the store? Okay, let me know when you got water in the car. I get the water out the car. Like, he literally be trying to help, and I'll take the water out the car myself. Or I'll let the water sit in the car for, like, a week. Knowing I can just be like, James, can you grab that water out the car for me? 
bitch. <laughs> I go get my wagon. Like I have a cart, like one of them carts that you get from Office Depot. And my sister called it my independent woman cart because that's what I carry my groceries in. Like, I carry everything in that cart and then I just drag it in the house. So she started calling my independent woman cart because I would never let anybody carry anything. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> Boosie made that song for me because, listen, I am the definition of I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that mean? <laughs> Miranda. <laughs> Oh my God, there's something wrong with me. But, okay, so it's 10.04. I want y'all to time me. I'm finna go in this goddamn store so motherfucking fast. Watch, what I, watch how fast I go in this store and pick up this. I'm finna get water, fruit, and saltine crackers. Because everything else I got at home, I don't need nothing else. Huh? I don't need nothing. I don't cook. And even if I did, I got, I got meat in the freezer. I buy food, I just don't cook it. So I'm finna go right on in this store. And I want y'all to see how fast I come up out of here. Hmm? The only thing that'll probably get me is that goddamn little small book rack they got in there that be having devotionals and shit on it. I be, and that mug get me every time. Do I wanna get some fun? No, I got her enough stuff already. Okay, so see what? Let's, I'm gonna show y'all. It's 10.05. I'll be right back. All right, 1023. Listen, now I'm out of breath because that included <laughs> getting out the car, putting the groceries in the car, checking out, and they got the door I parked close to locked. Am I blurry, y'all? I'm sorry, I got PTSD. Um, That included that. And bringing the basket back up by the door. Because I used to do baskets. And I know how that shit feel. So I was like, man, let me bring this basket back up here. Um, So, yeah. I'm going to play them games, baby. I'll be ready to go. Um, I'm out of breath because I got two 32 packs of water. I mean, 32, uh, 32 pack. And four gallons. <laughs> Like, I do not fuck around. I got me some fruits, some, some cookies and shit. Oh, in the Valentine's Day section, getting the cookies. Ain't got I, <laughs> My Valentine, my mama, she got her shit already. Them cookies for me. Um, Because I be loving when Valentine's Day come. They be having all the good little sweets. I'm going to see about Oh, But yeah, I don't be playing them games when I go to the grocery store. No, Lord. I don't do that. We do not do that. We do not do that. We in the night. That's why I like going late because nobody be in my way. I walk fast as hell. I be on the motherfucking move. Do you understand? Baby, because listen here. I'm trying to hurry up. Now watch how I leave this water in the car. Watch watch how I leave this water in the car. I need to put my defrost on. I'm, this, I'm really am going to ask James to get it out though because I don't feel good. Bad enough I put it in there. Plus I got him a pack of water so. He always give me a pack of water, so I got him a pack of water. You out of breath and you gonna vape. Bitch, you get on my nerves. <laughs> so now to the smoke shop we go. I don't know who's in here. I don't know if RJ's in here or not. Or the other uh, little long hair, Asian, Hispanic. I don't know what he is, but I'm sure gonna ask. Sir, what is your ethnicity? <laughs> what is your race? Okay, I need to know. I got questions. Because I need to know. But, yeah. See, that was an example of being independent. But And sometimes I just don't want to. Sometimes I don't want to. Because you don't know how. Like, right now, my kitchen light out. When I took, matter of fact, my the bulb in my closet with my wash and dry it on the patio, that motherfucker been out for so long. It's been out for at least three months. At least three or four months. And I still ain't changed. If I need something done, usually that I either can't do or don't want to read, well, it's dusty in there, so I don't want to mess my allergies up. I call Bobby. <laughs> but I gotta really need something. Like, I have to really, really need something. Is that him? 
looking like that's him. That is him. Yep, that's him, y'all. That's ooh, ooh. That's him with that long ass hair. I'm sure about the ass kill on YouTube. Watch this. Watch. That's probably his girlfriend. Let me not. Let me not look all suspicious and shit. <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm trying to holler at your nigga. I don't want to do that. Y'all, I got to cut on my damn hand. And when I tell y'all this hand sanitizer ain't no bitch. Come on, now. Get up out of there. Oh, no. That's a dude. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, hell. But they look like brothers, though. Damn. Okay. Hold on. Now, why the hell I put y'all on damn pause when I clearly said that I was going to ask. I just want to see that. I want to see that. Hello. Oh, you got music playing. Sorry, I'm a vlogger, so I'm on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> um, can I ask you a question? What's up? What is your race? I just really want to know. People ask you all the time? All the time. I'm sorry, I got the camera all hold. Don't worry. They they love everybody in here. RJ and Luna. What is it? You a sh you don't want to tell me? Mm -mm. No. You're not going to tell me? Mm -mm. He not going to tell mean, me. I mean, you must not understand it. Uh-uh, sir. No, Lord. No, Lord. No, Lord. <laughs> no, Lord. <laughs> no, Lord. <laughs> He definitely try. Now he's trying to holler, sir. I don't do chunky. I'm sorry. I can't help you, brother. Um, <laughs> he want to tell me. I really, I don't know why I thought he had some Asian in him. But I knew he was Hispanic. I just thought he had a little Asian in him. But shit, that's what people say about me. Um, whew, Okay. So, hold on, wait. Let's make a determination before we pull off because I think I want to listen to some music. I do. I can feel it in my in my spirit. Um, But that was my quick little spiel on Independence. I got to cut my light off because, uh, oh, yeah, he big. Oof. No, Lord. I'm good. Um, Nothing against big people. I just don't do them. <laughs> I don't do big guys. I prefer skinny. But that was my little spiel on like independence and dependence and trust issues and all of the issues that I have and all of the issues that somebody watching this may have. Hmm? You got to get that up off your chest. You got to get that up off your chest. I really want some CBD, but I ain't going to do it. <sighs> Cause I'm gonna eat up everything in the kitchen. CBD make you hungry too. Um, it just it make me hungry. I don't know about everybody else, but that shit make me hungry. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. That was my day with me, ride with me, traffic and chat, conversation, all of that, all of that. Excuse me. So it's ten thirty one. Um, I made two stops in thirty minutes, and I'm gonna take my ass home and listen to Anaya Lamis on the way. Anaya Lamis, bitch, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Girl, you gave me your soul. Somebody turns your heart cold. I picked it.